chase up an hour. Thank you. And now you're gone. I appreciate it. I thought FMF was some Korean pop band I never heard about or something before, which made it even more confusing. Yep. Like, it's- you're probably Korean. Makes it thinks it's referencing something specifically in, like, Korean lifestyle or Korean cult- Like, some sort of Korean thing. It's like, well, that doesn't really <laughs> help things. But yeah, once you realize it's actually... Alright, well, we have a cartographer. See so yeah, cartography how this cartographer fares. See how the map regeneration goes. And because of the glitch, cartographer is even stronger. Because the one penalty of cartographer is that you can't see the map unless you like pan it out. And the cartographer has been glitched to where you can still see it. Alright, so we just go right up, right up, basically. right every time. Now up. Hey, look, I can see the map now. That's right. Of course, we believe. We actually are. We actually have certainty, so belief is not even necessary. Book's over there. Like, this is easy. I like the funny shapes platforming game. Mm. Oof. I don't know if funny shapes is actually the name of a platforming game. Like, uh, I don't know. If... Oh my gosh, that was disappointing on my part. Well, unfortunately, this means we're gonna have to go all the way around, and we're gonna have some lower health. But at least we have that as our fast kill. Ooh. You're referencing a game, but not called funny shapes. What about just shield blocking the projectiles? Um, I mean, through the wall, you mean? I, so that was the idea. It's just sometimes the, it's, I'm not sure when they're going to shoot. And so I just do that to make it a bit more consistent. It's definitely possible that the going all the way around is unnecessary, but also, if I misspace it, then I, that has an additional issues, you know? Alright, so both of those are way up and to the left. So I can just do that. And that's way up there. Alright, that's good to know. That's not a good route. But at least we know the route. Really quick check on where Lamech is. Lamech's over there. Perfect. So we just go... Alright. Oh. Alright, well, we got equipment. Useless equipment, but we got equipment. More apples. That's okay. Pop open book. Pop open book fruit, I guess. Leather weapon. There we are. Alright. Then to our right, we have... Um, a question mark item, followed by the access tunnel. I really need to start, um, using my shield dashes aggressively, but I just, like, I'm not comfortable with it. It's not like being... As long 
as I can use um, basically as long as I can use uh, my health to pick up another apple if that last question mark is another apple I should be fine there we go it's that or whiff shield entirely <laughs> Uh, sometimes I do both. Whoa, look at the map. There's like several rooms around this room. Hmm. That was strange. That map was strange. Oof. Alright. Well, Axis Monday doesn't take much to understand what's going on here. We have 260 health. Ooh. Go. Alright, so we just have to hope we don't get anything unlucky, such as the double chaser rooms, but lightning strike is actually going to help a lot with chasers because it actually deals damage all around your character. So um, if you lightning strike and a chaser runs into you while the lightning's still going, it will hit the chaser before it hits you. Whew. That last dash was ambitious. Other weapons, so should we die, we actually have good equipment. Alright. So now we go through Axis Mundi. Well, I mean, I'm not even sure if it's worth stopping to map out Sun Tower, because I'm going to be going basically up whenever possible, no matter what the tower looks like. There's chasers, but he's out in an open area well enough for me to just move on. Imagine being the big knights and you're just stuck in those tiny sat platforms. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just. You finally climb all your way up to there, and then some guy just walks up at shield bashes and you're knocked back to the ground. Just like, well, that's my life, I guess. Yes, always good to get a free area clean. I think I could have gotten another one there, too. Whew. Full 
Full health. That feels good. Full health. Next to the gold bonus, we actually already have, um... I just need to do that to just increase my damage overall against this guy. Because they're never going to put me in a situation where I'm going to feel it and have to use the shield back. Oh, well, one there's just one. That's not going to happen. There, I could have used it. Closer than I actually was. Oh well. Took two hits. Took a hundred damage, about, so not the best. But I think we made up for all our mistakes there with how many advantages we took during Axis Monday. Alright. So we have one there. Let's just grab it. I don't care if I have to damage boost. I'm trying to time that coyote jump. Hey Penthos, how's it going? So first life has cartographer, so we have to leverage this right. Alright, so there's one. Then down, right. Alright, so we go across here. Let's pass it. Oh, thanks for the free map game. I appreciate it, though you really shouldn't have. As in, like, bad idea, don't do this. All right. Make sure Namah is known. And from here, we just go left and around, basically. Now we can teleport straight to Namah. I had no... I should have checked the map better. Could have seen that clearly. Ooh. I believe. Especially since I know where I'm going. Just have to get through this room. I don't have any special damage output, but I do have quite a lot of health, and that's nice. Yeah, 290 health is a lot. Look at these rooms. Look at that map. They definitely use some sort of map maker that's different for these sort of things than for the regular castle. That is a uh, definite. Oh, the crit killed it first, so uh, that last lightning strike was used pointless, but it's fine. Oh, didn't kill. Oh, no man. That's not good. Alright. Well, we're going to get 280 health coming out, because there's one more chicken. And chicken kills me 30, because I'm at no buffs. So... Two hundred eighty health is still above 260, which is above 200. So, like, we're still good. 
Right. So from here, we teleport back to Nama. Not sure if that was actually fast, but it's all right. We just go two rooms to the left, and we get, we find it. Ooh. And we just go back. Go. So we have Nama. Obviously, we're not going in there yet, but we're now going to Stygian Study. And it seems like literally just going left and up seems to be the solution for this entire Stygian Study. And then we go up and right. It's not a very good generated Stygian Study, but we know the exact generation. And yes, there is something at the end there. Just wanted to confirm. Thank goodness. I was worried I was going the wrong direction. And it was going to punish me in the end. I think I'm going to try to leverage gain this character. Um, keep this character at full health. Alright. Oh, that was the only way. I did not realize that. That was a mistake on my part. I took some damage I didn't need to. But apparently that was the only way to get to those two. So now we have to go from here straight up. And we have to hopefully find the heirloom in time. And then right next to the heirloom is Enoch. So... Yep, so it's up, right. I did not realize those were basically two separate areas. Alright. Just make sure I know my map unit. I don't know my mapping well enough, it seems. There it goes. <laughs> I'd say that's a good thing to use the rest of our resolve on. Now it's a matter of survival. Alright, we have an apple. So I know where it is, but I don't trust my route. Um... I just have such low health, and 290 is more than enough. We added iframes counted there. Just make sure. Yep. Whew. Amaterasu's son really helped with our damage outputs that we need. Now we have perfect amounts of resolve. We have tons of health. We open Enoch's room. And then I think we kill them off. And then we just um, try to... I see. We kill them off to try to get the gold. And then we try to climb with I up to Irad. Because this is the character with the most health and the most understanding of how to get to Irad of all the characters that we're going to get. Because we're not going to, unless we find a ton of apples somehow on the way up to Irad, we're never going to get a character with 290 health. in a few places, but we are still doing fine. This character is still doing their job. It would have been nice to get Amatrasu's son earlier with his character, but, like, I'm not gonna be a beggar here. We got Cartographer. We got the root. Like, it wasn't a very good route, but we got a root. 
Alright. Here's the question. Am I willing to sacrifice resolve if I get a good spell like Flame Barrier? Yes. If it's like Flame Barrier? Yes. I think it's mine. I answer. Alright. Just straight up from here. Alright. I'm now going to kill them off. And once the Ma's dead, I'm going to climb the tower. This will get me the last of the gold that I need for the rest of the run, I think. And then, should I die, I can have the whole area mapped out for that character that comes after. I think with 153 health, what I actually do is I go kill Gonheads and Murmur, and then I go grab Book. Hmm. Alright, see you later, Crack Style. Yeah, you don't have to. You're not, like, obligated to be here, Kraken. I appreciate you being here, but, like. Yeah. Alright. There's a lot of things I could be doing. There's a lot of, like,. Decisions that I'm probably making the wrong one, sort of thing. What's the best thing for this character to do? And there's like four different choices. I'm probably making the worst one, but I don't care because I have Amatrasu's son. I have a way to heal myself back up, and I have more gold for my next character. We're doing this. I'm trying to think with the two of them right next to each other and the loading screen times considered, it might have been better just to stay there and wait for the cutscene to play. Oh well.
shield back on that one. So here's where the crazy decision comes into play. I think this is an absolutely crazy decision, as in the absolute wrong decision as well. I'm gonna kill Enoch, then grab Book. This is a bad, this is a mistake, but my ambitions have taken over and I am making an abject mistake here because my ambitions want me to. not safe in the slightest. It's needlessly dangerous. It doesn't go to much benefit for the cost of danger. damage so far, which means I can take a hit from this Enoch without much issue. I could take a mistime shield bash as long as the mistime is, er, is I hit the button early. I'm just going to be safe here. saying don't do, but I did it. I could fully heal myself, but I went in with this low health. Where two hits kills. For whatever reason. I was ambitious enough to do that. Alright. go grab the book. Alright. Go. I have 10,000 gold, so should this character perish, my next character is going to be loaded. Though I think they only have a leather weapon to their name.
I wasn't sure if that was enough damage, but I went for it. Now we have 290 health to get through both the Sun Tower and Irad. It's the combination of the two that's daunting. Ew, that's a bad entry. So we stay in the center until we're forced to go left. Alright. Goodness, four iframes. Thanks for the slime trials on the small platform. That's exactly what the balance game does. Wasn't an apple, that really hurts, actually. This should go all the way to the top, so... As long as I make it to the top... Well, it doesn't really matter to the... for the most part. Thank goodness for the iframes. Let's see if I can do this in one fight. Even if not, we are so prepared for the next. The next, last character literally just has to face Irad. Ooh. Let's see if I can just one shot it.
one life effectively. Stopping for the gold might have actually been the flaw in this. Stopping for the gold might have actually been the flaw here. Well, we'll see how it fared. I think that's sub 40. That should be sub 40. That is a one life run with Cartographer. That should be sub 40, at least. Let's see how that fared. 3527. Hey! That's good. That's a good time. That is a really good time. Ah. So that was one life. I killed myself at the beginning, and then I did it in one life. Seems like shopping ad probably adds a lot of time. Also, going for all the chests. Those, um, those both, like, if I wanted to, I could cut out the actually popping open all the chests. If I was confident I could do it in this one life, I could, that also means the extra shopping of buying my level two. Um, yeah, and shopping needs to add a lot of time. Otherwise, well, actually, that's also, that'll also be an interesting run where you obligate, um, killing yourself to shop at certain, certain moments. It only adds about one minute, yeah. Um, a lot of this time save was due to me actually um, having Cartographer. But a lot of the time loss was actually me, despite having Cartographer, need to go through almost the entirety of Sticky and Steady. Uh. But yeah, still. I just want to note that this is a great run because of Cartographer. Like, even... Like, even though if you look at some of those places, um, like the Sticky and Study and the um, Kerguelen Plateau seem pretty bad, but it didn't matter because Cartographer is that good of a trait. 